Hi, Brian Bush, Field Agronomist for Pioneer covering Central and Southern Indiana. I want to talk to you about kernel tip abortion. So as many of our customers are going out and checking fields now, what they're finding is a lot of aborted kernels come off the tip here, like here and up here. If you came out these fields after pollination, you'd find that this here was 18 around by 45 kernels long. Well, this one was 16 around by 40 kernels long. Since that point, these plants have decided I cannot support all those kernels. So this plant aborted about five kernels off the tip, while this one aborted 15 off the tip. Do the quick math, 560 kernels are gonna make it to harvest, 540 kernels come harvest time. So while this one looks significantly worse, it's probably not as bad as what it really looks like. Why does this happen? Why do the plants abort kernels? Well, a couple of things. Number one could be cloudy weather or lack of solar radiation. If you go to encirca.pioneer.com and check out Weather Explorer, one of the things you'll find there is solar radiation. These fields from, from June 20th to July 8th had three quarters of the days with below average solar radiation. Why does that matter? If these plants don't have sunlight, they can't produce energy to help support those, uh, those kernels. Second, hot nights. Um, the first, first few days in July, we had several nights where the low temperature never dropped below 75 degrees. That hurts. The plant's using its energy instead to pump water and cool itself down, instead of pushing that energy to the ear. Other factors could be low fertility levels, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Could be disease levels as well. Too much leaf disease is coming in and speckling up those leaves, reducing our photosynthetic area. So what do we do about this? Well, if nothing else, check your fields now. Let's figure out if it's a fertility issue, we can address that for next year. If it's a disease issue, next year we can come back in here and plan on controlling those diseases to keep that yield potential high. If it's weather, well, we don't have a whole lot we can do there, but we can at least understand what our potential is going into harvest here. So we set the right expectations and have a better idea what's gonna come in come harvest time. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.